My name is Madison. I am the owner and chief operating officer of my company. We were using Zoom and we switched to Google Meet. For more reviews like this, click the link below. So the problems that uh, we've encountered that both of these products help us solve, first and foremost, we have been working remotely for the past year and a half. Uh, normally, we would all be in an office together for the most part. And um, since we're now all working from home or people from our team have moved to other locations, Obviously, having the ability to meet over video um, at any time from any place has been so helpful. Um, it also helps us communicate with our clients better um, as opposed to just doing you know, a standard phone call. Something else that we really love um, about being able to use both of these products is um, it's basically a conference call option. Um, and you don't need a separate app or separate service in order to set up a conference call with numerous parties, because oftentimes we're doing calls or video meetings where there's several people from our internal team, as well as numerous people on the client side when we're working on a project. Google Meet is really best for uh, when you're having a couple of people and you need to do a video meeting. And um, the thing that's really great about that is it's set up kind of just like within one click. So um, if you're like me or like my team, we are um, set up with Google's you know, business services and we all really rely heavily on Google Calendars. So Google Calendars, when you're making an event, it pretty much auto populates a meet link for you. So you don't really have to do anything. Um, it's just built in right then and there. You don't have to, you know, have a side discussion about which phone number are we going to use? Should we call you? Should you call us? Um, are we doing video or not? Like it's very just kind of one step and you're there. The Zoom service has been really helpful for us in terms of, um, you know, the quality of the video. Um, so when you absolutely need to have the video um, function turned on and you need to see each other, um, that's really helpful. And the way that they display all of the different people and you can kind of toggle through the settings. So you either have, you know, your speaker view on, um, you have somebody in particular maybe who is presenting and you want to pin their um, video frame to your screen. So you're just looking at them or you want to see sort of like the panel of people that are um, in the room with you. That's really excellent on Zoom. Um, and also um, something that we use Zoom for especially earlier on in the pandemic when we needed to get resources out to our team, our community. Um, we hosted a webinar through Zoom, which is a little bit different from a regular meeting um, in which you know, you have somebody presenting and everyone is just in there as an attendee. They don't have their cameras turned on, but they can tune in and watch um, someone present. And I think that's what Zoom is really great for. It was really easy to get jump started with Google Meet as well as with Zoom. Um, it was much easier um, for us to get started with Google Meet just simply because we already are set up with Google as sort of the backbone of our business. Um, it, we use Gmail, we use Google Calendars, we use Google Drive. Those are sort of um, all the different services we have streamlined through Google. And for that reason, it was really, really easy to just, um, you know, with one click, get access to Google Meet. Um, right there, it's already sort of integrated with Google Calendar. Um, so you don't really need to do much um, when you create an event. The link is right there and available for you and your team to use. For Zoom, um, it was relatively easy to get started. Um, obviously, Zoom is its own independent product. Um, so what we did when we were making the choice and realized we really needed to have some way to meet over video with both our clients and our internal team, I basically headed to the Zoom website, signed up for an account, took a look at the options of what kinds of accounts were available and, and what plan met our needs, signed up, and we were good to go from there.
I would say um, as the decision maker at my company, the top considerations that I have when looking for the right um, video meeting or conference uh, style software, number one um, definitely would be, I think, the quality of uh, video and the stream itself. Um, I think with all of us at some point or another in the past year and a half, having to work from home for an extended period of time, we can all relate. It's really frustrating um, when you're in a, a video meeting or call and somebody is sort of glitching or the 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 call drops or the video drops, um, especially during you know a presentation or um, an important discussion. So I would say pretty much just like the consistency and quality of video and sound. Um, the audio is is definitely number one. Um, another consideration is price, of course. Um, something that's affordable um, and is, is fit and scale to the size of your team and the volume um, that you're using the service, I think is super, super important. Um, and kind of going hand in hand with that for me is just flexibility of those packages and plans because we're we're still living in a very rapidly changing world where there's a lot of uncertainties. And I can imagine that not only for myself, but for many other business owners, um, you're kind of having to make a lot of decisions on the fly. Things are changing a lot. You might need more um, functionality out of your video conferencing software um, or less, depending on what's, what we see happen in the future. So I would definitely say flexibility is a consideration.